Hi everybody, welcome back to Rock or Baby Crochet. Hope you're all well and have had a great week. So this week's free pattern is we're making one of these lovely little rainbow raffles. They're great to give us gifts or to sell it at craft fairs or in your Etsy shop. As always, there's a free written pattern to support this tutorial which is available over on my blog. So the link to that is in the description to this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe if you do enjoy this tutorial and the pattern so you don't miss out on any of the upcoming patterns that are being released and also it's to support what we're doing here on the channel as well. If you're on Facebook I'd love to see you over there and you can share pictures of how yours turned out for you as well. So there's a link to our Facebook group also in the description to this video. So let's get into what we need to make one of our lovely little rainbow rattles. you're going to need to make one of the rainbow rattles so I've used two different types of yarn so the first one is the Stylecraft natural organic cotton and I've used that for the colors red which is poppy and then for the green which is color leaf for blue which is the color azure and for the purple which is amethyst the second one that I've used is Rico Designs Creative Cotton and I've used that for the orange which is colour number 74 and the yellow which is colour number 68. You're also going to need to grab yourself a 2.5mm crochet hook, a pair of scissors, a darning needle and a stitch marker if you feel more confident using stitch markers, one of the wooden rings, mine measures 5.5cm in diameter. You're going to need some stuffing for your toys, some toy stuffing and then if you're adding a rattle, this is what I use for my rattles, just the little plastic containers you get inside the chocolate eggs and I just pop some beads in there. I have tried the bells that you can buy from craft stores but I tend to find that the sound is muffled when it's padded out by the stuffing so that's why I use those but it's whatever you prefer really. So let's go ahead and make one of our lovely rainbow rattles. So to begin making your rainbow you want to make yourself a slip knot. And just pop your hook in, pulling on your working yarn to tighten your knot onto your hook. And we're going to begin by chaining eight. So you're going to yarn over and pull through a total of eight times. So that's one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, and eight. And then into the second chain from the hook, we're going to place a UK double crochet. So if you are using US terminology, that is a single crochet. As always, you can go into these front chains if you want to, but I prefer using the back bumps. So I count down the strands of yarn that are just running down the middle there, if you turn it to the side you can see they're a little bit raised. So I'm just going to count down one, two of those back bumps and that's where I'm going to place my first double crochet. And then I'm going to place one double crochet in the next four chains along. So insert my hook, yarn over pulling up a loop, two loops on my hook, yarn over and pull through both loops into my third, placing another double crochet into my fourth chain and place another double crochet and then my last one here before I do an increase so in total you should have five double crochets. Now if you feel more confident using stitch markers, place a stitch marker in the first and the last stitch of these rows. So we've got two chains left and we're going to make increases in both of those chains. So we're going to be placing two double crochets in each of those chains. So I'm going to insert my hook, yarn over, pulling up a loop, yarn over and take off the loops on my hook. So that's one and then I'm going to go back into that same chain and place the second one. Into my last chain, I 
and I'm going to place another double crochet increase. We're going to be working down the back side of this chain, foundation chain here. So my loose end I tend to hold over here because I'll crochet over it when I'm going back down and it makes it just a little bit easier. I don't have as many ends to sew in then. So there's one. And then back into that same chain and just place my increase. So that's two double crochets in that one. So then I'm moving down, back down my chain. So I'm going into this stitch next, just here, and I'm going to place another double crochet increase just there. And I'm going to carry my loose end over, or under should I say, just to keep it a little bit neater. And I think that if you if this isn't your first video tutorial with Rocco Baby, you know that I don't really like sewing so it saves me a job later on and then we should have five stitches left and we are just going to place one UK double crochet in each of those so insert your hook and place one double crochet into each of those remaining five stitches so that's two three, four, and five. So that should be a total of 16 stitches. So what you want to do is you're going to chain one and just turn your work. And we're going to place one double crochet in every stitch for a total of 16 stitches. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and here on my last stitch is where I'm going to do my colour change. So what you want to do is insert your hook into the top of that, underneath the top of the last stitch, yarn over pulling up a loop and then drop your purple colour. It's going to be easier if you trim, if you snip your loose end now, just because it's a little bit fiddly at this point because it's a little piece of work. So if you trim it and have it ready, and then if you grab your next colour, which is the blue, and if you pop your blue onto your hook, and finish off that stitch with the blue just by pulling it through that's the cleanest way to do a colour change just pull on that loose end of purple just to tighten up the stitch and again I'm going to be crocheting over my loose ends so you're going to chain one and turn your work and you're going to place one double crochet in the first five stitches so let me just show you where they are because you might not see it as well when I've, when I've got my loose ends in there. So we've got our first one which is here just directly underneath where we've just chained one. So there's one, two, three, four and five. So you're placing your first stitch here. But what I do is I pull these loose ends up from the row below and I crochet over them because then they're nice and secure. If you prefer, because this is going to be um, a toy, you can just knot them all together at the end. Um, it's completely up to you what, what you prefer to do. 
So I'm inserting my hook and place my first double crochet there. Carry my loose ends under and one double crochet in the next four stitches. So it's a total of five. Three, four, and five. So now what we need to do is we need to go around the top here. So we need to make some increases. So in the next six stitches, we're going to place a double crochet increase. So that's two double crochets into each of the next six stitches. So here's my first increase. Move on to my next stitch for my second increase. One and two. My third increase, so I'm going to pop two double crochets into there. One and two. My fourth increase. So again, two double crochets into there, one and two, two into my next one, so this is my fifth increase, one and two, and two into this one, which is my last increase, so one and two. And then I'm just going to place one double crochet in the remaining stitches and you should have five stitches left. So one, two, three, four, and here is my last one for five. What we're going to do now is we're going to go back round in the blue the same as we did in the purple. We're just going to place one double crochet in every stitch along. So you should have a stitch count of 22. So you're just going to chain one and turn your work and place one double crochet into every stitch along for a total of 22 stitches. So if you want to hit pause and make your way around and then come back to me when you're finishing up this row and we'll do the colour change together. So I'm just about to place my last stitch in the blue colour and I've already trimmed my loose end just to make it a little bit easier and not as fiddly for me and I'm going to insert my hook into that last stitch yarn over pulling up a loop and instead of finishing that off in the blue again I'm just going to hold this blue loose end here on the back Pop my green yarn onto my hook and pull that through just to finish it. Just pull on that blue just to tighten the stitch up a little bit and also hold my loose green and chain one and turn. And again, into the first five stitches, we're going to be placing one double crochet. So starting right here underneath the chain one. So one double crochet in these first five stitches. So just insert my hook, yarn over, pulling up a loop, yarn over, pull through both of them. And just pull on that blue loose end just to make sure that's nice and tight. And then one double crochet into the next four stitches for a total of five. So that's my third, my fourth and my last one there before I start my um, increasing. So what we need to do here is we need to do an increase to get around the top of the rainbow so we're going to do one double crochet followed by a double crochet increase and we're going to repeat that six times so one double crochet into this stitch and a double crochet increase into the next stitch so I'm placing two double crochets into the one and two one double crochet into my next stitch and into my next stitch along a double crochet increase one and two. 
one double crochet into my next stitch and a double crochet increase into my next stitch. That's my third increase. One double crochet into the next stitch. Double crochet increase into the next and that's my fourth increase. One double crochet into the next stitch and then my increase and that's my fifth increase. So one and two. One double crochet into the next stitch and a double crochet increase into the my next stitch along and that's my sixth increase. So you should have five stitches left and we're just going to place one double crochet into each of those stitches. So one, two, three, four, and five. So then we're just going to chain one and we're going to place one double crochet in every stitch along for a total stitch count of 28. So if you want to make your way along and when you're ready to change up to the yellow colour then come back to me and we'll do that together. I'm just about ready to place my last stitch in the green so again I'm just going to cut myself my loose end and get my yellow yarn ready and I'm going to start off this last double crochet like normal yarning over pulling up a loop then drop the green just hold that loose end with my finger pop my yellow yarn onto my hook and pull that through. Pull on the green loose end just to tighten that up. Hold that and my yellow loose end on the back with my finger and chain one. And then we can turn it over and again we're going to be placing one double crochet in the first five stitches starting here directly underneath your chain one. So one, two, three, four, five. So one double crochet in each of those stitches. Again, I'm just going to crochet around my loose ends. So insert my hook into that first stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. So that's one. Just tighten that green stitch up a little bit more, it's better. One, two, three, that's four, and then five. So now we're going to start our um, increasing. So what we want to do here is we're going to place one double crochet in the next two stitches and then an increase and we're going to do that in total six times. So into the next stitch I'm going to place one double crochet, one double crochet into the next stitch and then the third stitch is where I'm going to place my increase. So I'm going to place two double crochets into this next stitch. So that's one and two. So that's my first increase done. So for my second increase one double crochet into the next two stitches. One and two and then an increase into the third. So one, two. So that's my second increase, my third increase one double crochet into the next two stitches and then my increase so two double crochets into that stitch that's my third one double crochet into the next two stitches one two and then my increase 
So I'm placing two double crochets into that stitch. one and two so one double crochet into the next two stitches and then a double crochet increase into the next one and two one double crochet into the next two stitches this is my sixth increase now so this is my last one one and two and then my increase goes into the next stitch so I'm going to place two double crochets into that stitch and then you should have five stitches left so you're just going to place one double crochet into each of those five stitches so one two three, four, and here's my last one, five. So for round eight or row eight we're just going to chain one and place one double crochet in every stitch along for a total stitch count of 34. So if you want to press pause and make your way around, placing one double crochet into every stitch and come back to me when you are ready to do the colour change up to the orange and we'll do that together. So I'm just at my last stitch of the yellow and I'm going to finish that off exactly the same way we have done all the others. I've already trimmed my end just to keep my yarns a bit more organised. Holds that loose end before I finish the stitch on the back. Grab my orange place that onto my hook and pull it through just to finish off that stitch. Give that yellow yarn a little pull to tighten it up and hold it on the back with your finger along with the orange loose end as well. So we're going to just chain one and turn your work and like we have done in all the other rows in the first five stitches we're just going to be placing one double crochet starting here underneath our chain one so I'm just going to move my loose ends up insert my hook into that first stitch and place a double crochet and one in the next four stitches for a total of five so that's one two three four and five and then we're going to start our increasing so what we're going to do here is we're going to place one double crochet in the next three stitches and then an increase into the fourth and we're going to do that a total of six times so one two three and then my increase so two double crochets into this stitch one two one double crochet into the next three stitches one two three and then my increase so two double crochets into this stitch one and two that's my second increase one double crochet in the next three stitches one two three and then my increase so I'm going to be placing two double crochets into this next stitch one and two and I'll tidy those little loose ends up in a moment one double crochet into my next three stitches one two, three, 
three and then my increase so I'm placing two into that one one double crochet into the next three stitches one two and three and then my fifth increase so I'm placing two double crochets into this stitch one double crochet into the next three stitches one two and three and then place my last increase into this next stitch so you're placing two into that one and then you should have five stitches left and you're just going to place one double crochet into each of those one two three four and here's my last one five so we're just going to chain one turn our work and then you're going to place one double crochet in every stitch around for a total stitch count of 40 so if you want to press pause and make your way along this row and come back to me when you're ready to make our final colour change to the red so I'm at my last stitch of my orange I've already trimmed my end my loose end and I'm just going to insert my hook and do my colour change over to the red exactly how we have done in all the others placing the red yarn onto my hook and pull it through just to finish that stitch off pull on that orange just to tighten it up a little bit and hold that and your red loose end on the back with your finger and then just chain one so again we're going to be working into the first five stitches placing one double crochet in each starting here just underneath the chain one so let me just carry my loose ends over insert my hook into that stitch pulling up a loop yarn over and pull through both loops just need to tighten that orange up a little bit so that's one two three four and five so now we're going to start our increasing so what we're going to do with this one is we're going to place one double crochet into the next four stitches and then an increase into the fifth and again we're going to do that a total of six times so one double crochet into the next four stitches so one two three and four and then my increase so I'm placing two double crochets into that one one double crochet into the next four stitches one two three and four and then my increase so two double crochets into there that's my second increase one double crochet into the next four stitches two three and four and then my increase so this is my third increase one double crochet into the next four stitches one two three and four and then my increase so there's my fourth increase one double crochet into the next four stitches one two three and four and then my fifth increase one and 
two, one double crochet into the next four stitches, one, two, three, and four, and then my last increase. And then again, you should have five stitches to work into. And we're just going to place one double crochet into each of those two, three, four, and five. So then we're just going to chain one and place one double crochet in every stitch along for a total stitch count of 46. So if you want to hit pause until you get to that point and I'll show you how we move up to the next step. Just at my last stitch of this row and I'm going to finish that off as usual. Now you're going to need to make two of these so if this is your first one then you are going to chain one and fasten off and leave in um, a loose end which you can sew in. This is my second one so I'm not going to um, cut off my arm because I'm going to attach um, both the rainbows together. So this is my first one here that I've just done a chain one on and I'm just going to knot my yarn on the back here just to secure it and this is going to be on the inside this is going to be on the inside of the work so nobody will see this. So I just pop my hook in, pull it through, make sure it's not pulling on the work and then just chain one, pull it through, press down with my thumb on where I've just made that little knot and pull it firmly and that just secures your loose end but make sure you hold on to the knot before you pull it or else you'll um, pull your stitches out of shape. So I will just trim that just a little bit just to keep everything neat while I'm filming but this is just going to be on the inside of your rattle so it doesn't really matter you can just bob it on in the middle so when you're looking at your rainbows the right side your loose end when you're looking at it should be on the right of you so that's your right side and your wrong side is when the loose end is on the left so you want to get both your um, rainbows so the right sides are facing you so you know you've got the correct sides to seam them together on just trim those loose ends there and you want to put both wrong sides together so the right sides are facing outwards pop your hook back into your loop and we're just going to start again by chaining one and turning it and we're just going to place one double crochet in every stitch so you will have the same stitch count so you'll still have 46 stitches when you're making these double crochets so make sure you're going through the stitch at the front and the back so you're catching underneath both of the pieces of work yarn over pull through yarn over and pull through two and you're just going to do that in every stitch along going around the edge of your rainbow curved edge so if you want to press pause until you're finishing up at that point and I'll show you how we crochet along the bottom edge and attach it to the wooden hoop so I'm just at my last stitch and what I'm going to do into this stitch is I'm going to place two double crochets and that will just take me round to this straight edge so that's into my very last stitch there's two and then what I tend to do now is I'll fill it with the toy stuffing so pull yourself up a nice loop so you don't lose any stitches and just start to fill it up don't forget to pop your rattle in I tend to put the rattle in the middle towards the bottom 
but just making sure that there's enough stuffing around it as well. And I'll put my little rattly bit in. And then cover it over with a bit more stuffing. And then we'll crochet across this straight edge. Okay, so I'm happy now with the stuffing and that it's the rattle part of it is nicely padded out. So what I do when I go across this straight edge is I put one double crochet in every row. So you should have sort of two double crochets for every colour. But I've just done one in this corner here for the red so I'm just going to put one more into this red one. Make sure you go through both sides of your work. It's a little bit tricky because we've got the stuffing in there now. If you just keep pushing it out of the way with your finger as you move along, then I'm going to go into this orange here, making sure I go underneath both sides of the work and place a double crochet and then a second one in the orange and you're just going to make your way along there until you come to your last stitch and if you press pause and come back to me when you're at that point and we'll move up to making the um, little attachment that we hook it onto the loop with. So I'm just at my last two stitches now so I'm going to place one there and then one goes into the same space where my first one was just to keep those corners even and then you can slip stitch it to this very first double crochet that we did just to join chain one and leave a nice um, length of yarn just to sew in that weave in that loose end pull up on your chain one and pull firmly just to secure it so what we need to do it looks really cute doesn't it so this is our rattle so far so what we need to do now is I just give it a little squish out just to get all that stuff in nice and even what we need to do is just make the little um, handle here which will attach it to the ring so I'm going to do mine in red again but you can use any colour you want if you wanted to go um, multicoloured you could so I'm going to count up to the 20th stitch so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 and just pop my hook into that stitch and attach my red yarn. So pop it over my hook and pull it through and just chain one and then I'll, I'll um, crochet over this loose end as well just to make it a bit more secure and we're just going to place one double crochet into the next eight stitches so one two three four five, six, seven and eight and then you'll chain one, turn your work and you're going to place one double crochet in each of those stitches keeping your stitch count at eight, one two, three, four, five, six, 
seven and eight and then you'll chain one again and you just keep repeating that I'm going to do 14 rows because that's enough to go around um, my wooden hoop but if you do as many or as little as you need to attach your hoop for me it is 14 so if you press pause and then we'll finish it off together so I ended up I only needed 12 rows of this double crochet I must have used a finer yarn last time I made one of these so I've just chained one and secured the end so I'm going to pop my wooden hoop pop it through my wooden hoop and thread that loose end that I've just cut and we're just going to sew that together to attach it so fold it over in half and you're just going to go backwards and forwards just sewing each stitch together just to attach that hoop now you will want to go through this a good couple of times because we don't want this breaking. So make sure that you take your time with this and make it nice and secure. And there you have it, our lovely rainbow rattles. It's a great gift for somebody and I'm sure they'd be thrilled to get it if you do make one. If you are making one of these rattles, please join us over on Facebook. I'd love to see how yours turns out. And if you've enjoyed this tutorial and don't want to miss out on the up and coming free patterns, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It should also just support what we're doing here on the channel as well. So have a great week and I'll see you next week. Bye for now.